is that the line between the professional, the education should be for the purposes of... Um, All the organizers of this very, I strongly believe, very nice gathering, very nice, and I do believe very productive youth and sport, uh, the Ministry of IT Industry and the, the Foreign Ministry. Young innovative people in this broader area, and now I'm naturally talking about Armenia. On Saturday, I saw the new young European ambassadors, which is a great initiative. Armenia is heading for serious reforms, and the European Union is supporting Armenia on this way. Better cooperation, more opportunities. Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I started my day today with a bright event. It's bright not only because it's a bright day, it's sunny Yerevan with a lot of positive energy. When you wake up, it's also bright because I'm here in one of the brightest spots of our nation, which is Matanadaran. Armenia is a young nation. And when I represent my country, when I speak abroad, sometimes I think I'm a president of a startup. Yeah, indeed, Armenia is, is a big startup. I think the, Armenia has a huge history. Armenia has a history of thousands of years, but the, the, today's Armenia is a startup because everybody hopes that, everybody thinks that we have much more potential than what we have. That's a startup. And one of the features of this startup is being young, it's not about age. Yes, Armenia is a startup. So there are so many opportunities and there is, a, there is a belief and a hope that we will succeed. Living smart is much more wider as a concept than only just music, art and digital, a new world. So I'm encouraging our younger generation to really live smart. Get your education right, be happy, be free, be creative. Learn as much as possible. Have the habit of living smart physically, doing your exercise and what you eat and how you organize your life, but stay young until you are like Charles Aznavour, 94. Have your last concert a couple of days before you die. Or live smart as Kirk or Korean, who are more than 90. Do your business deal, the last one just a couple of days before you die. Live your life as a young person, because being young is not about age. The real living smart, being smart as a state, as a nation, is to combining the power of everybody. Because, as I told, being young is not about your age. It's about how do you live, what, how do you think, and how do you serve your country. So I think the real future is not only partnership between Armenia and the European Union, it's a partnership among Armenians of different generations, especially those who think, live, and act as young. So I will encourage the whole nation to be a part of this process. Because if we speak about education, it always says you need a professor or a teacher to teach. You said that you were. So you cannot have a school where you have only school children. You have to have the teachers as well. And the best schools are the ones that they live as a community. They understand each other. Because you cannot teach if you don't understand the next generation because they're a bit different than who you are. There is a lot that European Union can benefit working with countries like Armenia. We are a nation that believes in future. We're a nation that can make changes and make changes that will surprise others in a way that even in Europe you don't expect others to do. We are a nation that we are full of a lot of hope and enthusiasm and belief in future. So I think Europe becoming in partnership with us will help Europe to stay young or maybe to become a bit younger and to learn from us, from our experience, what indeed you will be needing to do 
to changing in Europe as well, because the time doesn't stop, there is no final stop, and we look at Europe as a partner. But a partner that we can have a partnership, we can learn with the, from the partner. Because then also we can come up with an ideas for the partner. And I will be there to support you, the young ambassadors of European Union, the, the becoming younger European Union, Union. They will be very happy to help you to become younger and really a, a a union that has values of 21st centuries. That values uh, should be quite wide. Because we live in times where we have to question many things. Democracy is a absolute value, but democracy in its application is a developing process. Now, the voice is heard every day. And it's not every day, I'm sorry, every minute. I'm here to support partnership with our friends, and I'm here to encourage our younger generation to be active members of a startup state called Armenia. Thank you. The one challenge that we all have is that People of your age don't feel as young as you do. And I feel if they feel as young as you do, they're coming to that world. That is the only challenge that I see. As long as people of your age feel as young as you feel, we will have no other problem in this country. Thank you. If you take a startup, it starts with a couple of people that have an idea an idea, and they believe in their idea, that this idea will be the one which will win. So what is that you need in order to make a small startup successful? Except the idea. Except the idea, you have to have a vision. So one of our tasks in our, this program of development to the future is to invest a lot of time and money in education, which should be precise according to our plan. So we have to invest a lot of time in education. Then the environment. And this is the environment. You cannot have a startup when you don't have the right environment for a startup. In order to have digital in Armenia, we have to try to bring big multinational companies doing some research here. Their presence is the right environment where the startups will see what's happening in the international international media and so on. So that's very important that where people know about us, but we, it's very important that we know about the world as well. And this is one of the things that Presidential Office has an initiative which is called ATOM, Advanced Tomorrow, trying to bring big multinationals, be it like IBM, Google, or, or Dasso and Talis to Armenia to do R&D, not to have a big industrial product, but to an R&D, because this R&D will help the younger generation to live in the right environment. When they compete, they can learn from big multinational, and a lot of them will be European companies, must be European companies. And then, I think we, it's important that we integrate the, the, the country. This country is not about Yerevan. Yerevan maybe is the half of the nation, but there are talented people outside. I think this brings us to integration the whole nation, both geographically, the remote ones, starting from education, opportunities, giving the chance of giving startup, and small things can work, like co-op in Lorin. I mean, it has completely changed the environment. That I believe that we have more challenges, but don't per forget, every challenge is an opportunity. And you can make your life, you can make money, you can make success on a challenge, on the opportunity. And that will make your country stronger. Thank you.